Hi guys, Joel Kuhl here, back with another video. And uh, today I'm shooting yeah, in my veranda because a uh, lot of things have been going on in my uh, bedroom, I guess, uh, pest control and stuff. So I just needed to make a video regarding the U Euphoria, and I have been checking out a new ROM, and it's the Cyanogen OS 13.1 ROM. And uh, you guys, I think you must have heard of this ROM because uh, many of the developers have already made videos on this ROM. But uh, the thing that uh, I don't think that you guys have seen it because it's Cortana inbuilt in this ROM. So let's check out how to install this on your U Euphoria. So first thing you need to do is you need to ensure that your device is rooted and you have a custom recovery like EWIP recovery installed. Then uh, press the power button, switch off your phone, press the power button and volume bomb button together and it will boot you into custom recovery like TWRP recovery if you have it installed so let's just check it out and uh, hey, come on okay so TWRP recovery sorry for the background noise guys oh my god okay so go to wipe go to advanced wipe go to dalvik system data and cache and just swipe to wipe and uh, i'm not going to do that because i already have this installed Next, just go to install and select the ROM from wherever you have uh, stored it on your internal storage or your SD card. And just uh, select it, suppose this ROM, and add more zips. Install the Zesky kernel. You have to install this, otherwise, the ROM will not boot. The links will be in the description box below, so not to worry about that. And um, the, you need to flash. This is based on Android 6.0.1, that is Marshmallow. So, flash G apps, that is 6.0 Pico, and it's for ARM64. And links will be in the description box below as well. So after you are done flashing just hit back 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 and just hit reboot and just hit system So don't worry the first boot will take a bit of time to boot and if you want you can yeah, flash the pixel experience as well to get the pixel boot animation I have done that and you can see the pixel boot animation so I will meet you on the other side So the first boot will look something like this it will show preparing to start an optimizing app So don't worry it will take about 7 to 10 minutes to for the first boot to happen And um, I guess it's already started Okay, this is how the lock screen will look like guys as you can see Cortana is here I've already set up my device and three, four. And so this is I will uh, definitely to be very true that I will not suggest you guys that you install this ROM because there are a lot of lot and lot of bugs here first of all cellular data does not work sorry for the noise guys cellular data does not work and uh, I don't know why HTC blink feed is installed I really really don't understand that and this is blink feed as you can see and um, let's just go and as you can see Cortana is pre-installed and if you go to sorry for the noise once again guys and this is Cortana so as you can see I have Cortana in front of me this phone has been giving me trouble for a lot of time because suddenly it stops working suddenly it hangs so I will definitely not suggest you that you you install this ROM and you want to use this as a daily driver and definitely not do that guys because a lot of things are not working and so this is basically the ROM. I have been using this for one day and I don't know why HTC stuff is installed here. As you can see, camera is yeah, camera is pretty much working. Not to worry about that. But the home button does not work and a lot of stuff in settings also does not work. If you want you can do give this ROM uh, and you can check out check out this ROM. But do not in uh, you expect this to be your daily driver and stuff because a lot of bugs are there guys and um, that's all. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you know that Cyanogen OS 13.1 is not very stable and other ROMs are there on based on Cyanogen OS 13 and you can also check that out but this ROM is perhaps the only CM13 OS ROM which has Cortana pre-installed. Cortana can do a lot of things because you know, as, you, yeah, as you might already be knowing that see a lot of stuff it can it's basically like the Google Assistant and it also shows you know the lock screen. So, but bugs have destroyed this ROM guys, to be very true. So, that's all guys. I hope you enjoyed this video after a long time. And if you did, do give this video a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any constructive criticism, do give them in the comment section below. And this is the Mi Band 2 video on this is coming very soon. And uh, do give this video a thumbs up and like and share this video and subscribe if you have not already. Because a lot of awesome videos like this are going to come in the future. Not very regular but uh, I will try my best to give you a video on every, at least two in a week. Hey guys, thanks guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.